Welcome back viewers. Whenever you have installed the Garuda Linux on your laptop or a desktop and when you will reboot after the installation is complete, you will be greeted by the Garuda Setup Assistant. So the first thing that you, the Garuda Assistant will suggest you is to update the system. So in the last video, we had done the updation of the Garuda Linux that we are installed in the virtual machine. So after the update is complete, immediately the uh, update tab will go away and the OS preferences tab will be shown. So you may not even uh, need to reboot, but if you reboot and if you start the setup assistant again, then the system update tab will disappear and only these tabs will be available. So what to do now? So you have got the option to install the printer, scanner and Samba support. So if you want, you can install this. Do you want to install additional Garuda wallpapers? So you can say yes. If you remember in Endeavor also, you can install the additional Garuda, uh, this uh, additional Endeavor OS wallpapers using the Endeavor app. So there is an app like the Garuda Assistant or the Garuda uh, setup. So using that, you can install the Endeavor OS wallpapers also. So here similar a feature is there in the Garuda Setup Assistant to install the additional wallpapers. Do you need pen testing software? So that will require the installation of the black arch repo and the settings. So let us go for that also. Let us install the pen testing software. In the input side, you can install the different font support. So here different fonts are there. Japanese, Korean, Vietnamese, Sinhalese, Thai, the Devanagari, Kannada, Telugu, Malayalam, Bangla fonts and the Asian font support is there. So I will install this. That is the Devanagari, Kannada, Telugu, Tamil. So all the Indian language fonts will be supported. Now in the software centers, do you want to install the GNOME firmware, uh, firmware? That is the firmware updater. So we have seen this in the, uh, you will see this in the Garuda Mate desktop. It is there. And I think in the GNOME desktop also of Garuda, the GNOME firmware updater is there. If you want, you can also install the app image launcher. If you want, you can install the Octopi. So Octopi is a GUI based software center. We will install that or you can go with the PAMAC. PAMAC is developed by the Manjaro team and it is available here in Garuda also. Bau is there, so it is a Qt GUI for managing your application. So it is another uh, software store. You can also install Discover. So you can have both uh, this Discover and Octopi. Since this is a KDE desktop, I think instead of Octopi, I will install the Discover software center because uh, the Octopi uh, we will check out in the Garuda Mate desktop that is coming uh, in the future uh, releases, video releases. You can also go for the GNOME software, that is the GNOME software center. You can also install the Apper. Let us install the Apper also. Next in the kernels, the option of different kernels is there like the Linux LTS, Linux Hardened. So Linux Hardened is, uh, comes with the improved security. It is for the workstations. So if you are using the system at the workplace, then you require the hardened Linux. Linux Bore is there, so it might improve performance on some systems. Linux TT is there. So it may also improve performance on some systems. Linux Run Mode, Linux Mainline, Linux AMD Zen 2, Linux AMD Zen 3, and the Linux Zen 4. So these are uh, three kernels are mainly aimed at the uh, AMD processor and the AMD uh, uh, chipsets. So if your system is AMD, you can use this. So uh, what I will do is we will not install any of this because already the Zen kernel is there. It's enough, but you can install if you want. In the office section, you can see a uh, different office suits are available like the LibreOffice Fresh is nothing but the latest LibreOffice release. Still is the LTS uh, release. Joplin is there. Only office is there. WPS office, free office, Ozo office, Calligra suit is there, Scrooge. KMI Money is there, so it is a small personal finance manager for KDE, Abbey World, G Numeric, GNU Cash and the Home Bank is there. So what we will do is, let us install the free office. 
Then in browsers, Fire Dragon, LibreGul, Firefox, Firefox, ASR, Chromium, Ungoogled, Chromium, Vivaldi, Opera, Tor Browser, Flutter Browser, Brave, Falcon is there, Sea Monkey, Cute Browser. So I think we should go with Opera. I will my personal preference is for Opera. I using this uh, along with the Mozilla Firefox the last ten uh, years, more than ten years now. Uh, and it has never failed me. I am satisfied with the performance. Email already, I think Thunderbird will be there. Email is there. Geary Evolution. So lot many things are there. Let us go. Let us go with the MailSpring. In communication, let us install the Telegram desktop. You can see here the different uh, uh, Communication clients are there Zoom, Jitsi, Signal, Wire, Element, Fractal, NeoChat, Discord, Skype, Microsoft Teams, Slack, Mumble, Twitch, all the you say, all the Vogue uh, communication clients are there. In internet section, the Extreme Download Manager, FDM, Deluge is there, Qubit Torrent is there. So we, we can install Qubit Torrent, I think. Yes. Warpinator is there, FileZilla is there. Let us install file, FileZilla. NitroShare, JDownloader, Warpinator, Putty is there. Further, in the audio section, these are the different players Strawberry, Lollipop, Audacious, Cantata, Elisa, KVO, Audacity, Arder, LMMS is there. So it is a Linux multimedia studio. Arder is a professional grade audio workstation, MuseCore. Rose Garden, Bitwig Studio is there, so it is digital audio workstation or DAW. Further in the video section, Kden Live is there, so it is a non-linear video editor, shortcut. Then Dragon, OpenShot, OBS Studio, VLC Player, so we can install VLC. SM Player, Baka M Player, so in Graphics section, Krita, Gimp, Inkscape, Blender, Digicam. Color Blend, Luminance, HDR, FreeCAD, Sweet Home, Wings 3D, MyPaint, Color Paint, FreeCAD is there, LibreCAD, PCAD, Pencil, Synfix Studio, it is a 2D vector animation, Pencil is also 2D hand drawn animations, OpenStoons, Font Forge is there, so it is Outline and Font Editor, Bird Font is there, so it is also a font editor for creating TTF, EOT and the SVG fonts. In multimedia section, you see the hypnotics, shortwave, cover screen, handbrake, mystic, transmegadon, sound converter, streamio, Kodi, me, media, media elch, subtitle composer, K3, EasyTag, K, K3B is there, so it is a CD burning application, EasyTag is the audio editor application. K3 is also KD tag editor, except one is there and Brasero for the CD burning application. In development, different terminals are there, uh, different IDs are there, Vim, Visual Studio, Visual Studio, GNU, Emacs, Qt, Creator, Genome Builder, KDevelop, NetBeans, Postman, Intelli, IntelliJ, IDEA, PyCharm, IntelliJ, Rider. Git Kraken, GitHub Desktop, Cockpit, Ansible, so lot many softwares are there. Docker is there, Podman is also there, very good. So this is what I was trying to search. So it is very easy to install in Garuda Linux. Jenkins is there, Puppet, Prometheus, Vagrant. So Vagrant is used to build and distribute virtualized development environments. Terraform is there, building and updating infrastructure as a code. So you see lot many possibilities are there. Virtualization is there, so you can install the virtual box, Gnome boxes, virtual manager, any motion. It provides a virtual environment for Android using virtual box. In other, the GUI screen copy is there, droid cam, soundware is there. So soundware is wirelessly transmit audio from PC to the Android phone to other PCs. Variety is there, so variety is a wallpaper changer. Conk is a system monitor. Droidcam is a tool to use your Android device as a wireless USB webcam. So lot many applications are there. So we have selected a few and now we will install that. 
so it will i think open up a terminal and the installation will begin yes so you have to just provide your sudo or the root password and the installation will go ahead automatically now it is installing the black arch key ring for the pen testing software You can see here the black arch repo has been added and now it is getting updated. So total download size is 696.10 MB and install size will be around 1571 MB. Net upgrade size is also 1571 MB. So all these packages that we have selected, they are now going to get installed. So it is very easy to select the packages that you want and use and install. So a selection of uh, curated software is available in the Garuda Setup Assistant and you can just directly select the applications using the tick box and it will be automatically installed via a script. It's very easy for the user to set up their Garuda desktop or uh, workstation. So we have successfully installed the additional packages. Let us take a look whether the packages are there in the menu. Just a minute. Yes. So yes, you can see here the packages should be there. I think uh, we had selected. Let me go in multimedia. Yes, VLC media player is there in office. Let us check out if the free office is there. Yes, the free office has been included and discord center is there so all the applications have been select uh, that were selected are installed we just checked out a few of them to test whether the install works and the garuda setup assistant is able to install the packages that it uh, curates and shows us on the screen so with this i will now stop the video here see you in the next video bye bye